Hi, Kelly Fox here, your fearless living coach, helping you to hatch out of your shell and be the rock star you want to be. Today, we're going to talk about beating ourselves up. How many times do we do it? Do we catch ourselves going, oh, Kelly, I can't believe you did that again. You're so dumb. Oh my gosh, that was so stupid. I know I catch myself saying those things all this time, all the time, even still. And the thing about beating yourself up is it never supports you. It really never does. It's not a motivator. It's not something that's going to get you doing something that you hadn't been doing before. It's really not supportive. And it's not building your confidence muscle at all. So what we encourage you here at Fearless Living to do is to write acknowledgments. How many times did you, do you do amazing things and you don't write them down or you don't acknowledge yourself and so you forget them? One time I was at a workshop with Rhonda and she said something uh, to the effect of that acknowledgments are like putting down flags in the sand. So as you turn around and you look back behind you, um, you can see those flags even when, you know, the uh, tide is up or, or out. You can still see those flags. They still hold a marker for something that you accomplished and something you did. Now, I know when I first started writing acknowledgments, I kind of got lost in the bigness of it, right? So try not to get lost in the bigness of it. Everything you do can be acknowledged. Everything, every new thought, every new step out of your comfort zone can be acknowledged. And when you write them down, then you can look back and you can see them on a rough day. And you can say, oh, you know what? I did all of these amazing things this week. And kind of give yourself a little compassion and a little break, right? Because we can't all be on our top game every single day, right? We're going to all have those days. We're going to all have those moments where we just feel challenged and we just feel tired. But you know what? We can look back on those acknowledgments and we can boost ourselves up. So I'm going to teach you how to write them. You're going to write, today I acknowledge myself for. And then you're going to acknowledge yourself for something. All right? And it can totally be something small. And... Make sure that you're acknowledging yourself for every little piece of what you did. A lot of the times people will acknowledge themselves for one big thing and you could really break it down into five or 10 or 20 things that you had to do to accomplish the one thing that you're acknowledging yourself for. So I encourage you to write five acknowledgements every day. Write them down so that those flags in the sand can support you as you are moving forward. Thanks, everybody. I hope this supported you. Please practice those acknowledgements. Beating yourself up is never something that we want to do. And I encourage you, as you do this, your confidence will grow. And the steps out of your comfort zone will come easier. And you will be able to hatch out of that egg and become more of the rock star that you want to be. And until next time, remember, you have full permission to shine.